All right, so this is what inspired me to do this today. So if you may or may not, not know, I, I run a couple of art clubs through Awesome Art School, and one of them is the Fun Fab Drawing Club. <laughs> and I was doing a lesson for them the other day, and it was so, I was having a ridiculous amount of fun by myself. <laughs> and I thought, I have to get, you guys have, this would be super fun to do as a group. So if you want to join the draw along today, I hope that you do, because it's stupid fun. It's very easy. And these are, uh, hopefully you got the message about this, but all you'll need is a straight edge. I actually recommend not using the ruler because then you start measuring things. And the whole fun of this project is that it's wonky and we're not measuring things. So um, if you wanna grab a straight edge and that could be, I mean, obviously if you have a ruler, that's fine, you, you could totally use it, but um, you can just use, you can use the side of a book if you want to. And then two other things that I enjoy using, which I actually use all the time as well, are is a circle template because circles are really hard to draw perfectly um sometimes you just need to bang out a perfect circle and then also i really really love my ellipse template this is this is like my go-to and i didn't use one for years um it's almost like i should have started with one and then maybe lost it but i did the opposite where i didn't use one ever and now i use it all the time and I use these for making my facial feature placeholders when I'm drawing faces. Um, I use this all the time, but it's also really fun for making part of what I'm going to be doing today. So if you have these, super fun. If not, don't worry about it. But I wanted to bring these up because I use these in the drawing club a lot for, for different reasons. So I'm going to be working on Bristol paper. So if you can just use regular paper if you want to. But I love drawing cocktails, actually. I have a whole bunch in my Learn to Draw. Um, Art Deco 2 book. I have tons in there. And I just think they're really, really fun. But it's hard because they're like perfectly straight lines. So it's hard to freehand them. So what I did in the drawing club was I just printed out all these super fun, like mid-century mod cocktail images. And then using them for inspiration, I um, did these two lessons, which I like I freaking want to dive in and live in these drawings. Like they're so fun. They're so fun. And maybe that's just me, but I don't know. I really, I've always enjoyed um, doing cocktails. I've done cocktail series of coasters before. I've done like wall art. Like I went through a whole cocktail phase. Um, I just love it. So, the, but there's a little twist to this, these drawing cocktails, which is oh, here's, here's going to be our final project for the 60s, is that for the ones that we're doing today in our draw along, uh, you're not allowed to use pencil and you, okay, you really can if you want to, but every line has to be made with either a straight edge or a template or tracing of some, of some sort. So to help me with my circles, I actually have two different size martini glasses. Actually, this was just gifted to me, but I had a whole set of these colorful ones by Mandy Brown. Mandy, if you're watching, girl, I love you. Um, and the triangle that I was showing before and if you need help, these, these ellipses make the most perfect olive, olive shapes in the whole world. Super fun. So the whole point is that you can't measure and things are going to be wonky because you're not measuring anything. And um, yeah, you have to just kind of eyeball all the lines. So I'm going to chuck my hair up while I'm checking my hair up, go get a piece of paper, get some fine liners. I'm going to be using just my regular fine liners. Um, and we're going to dive in, but who's drawing? Let me know in the comment who's drawing with me. I'm not doing it if I'm the only one drawing. <laughs> this is participation required. <laughs> let's do, I real the, the martini glasses are super fun. So let's start with one of those. We'll just do, we'll just start, start simple and slow. Um, and I'm going to start, I like a, I like a fine liner set because I like to have different width options. So I usually start with a medium, like a 0.5, but again, if all you have is like a Sharpie, you're, you're okay. All right, we're just gonna keep it super simple. We'll do a martini glass, smack in the middle of our papers and we'll throw some olives around them, okay? And drawing club members, this is just, you'll have more fun coming. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start at the top, okay? I'm not measuring anything. I'm just gonna, this will be the top. So if my line's crooked, honestly, it's like even cuter when it is. So I'm just gonna do, just do a line like that. Who can do that? Every one of you can do that. Everybody. 
<laughs> you guys are again. <laughs> well, if Linda's gonna draw, I'm gonna draw too. I guess hilarious. Yes, peer pressure. Peer pressure everyone into draw. You guys, it's so fun. All right, so now we need to do like the triangle base, right? All right, so we're doing basically we're doing this one. So we just we're making a triangle, everyone. Can you handle that? Yeah, you can. All right, so I don't know. I'm not gonna make this even. So I'm just gonna make. I'm going to make like a line to there. I don't know. I feel like there's a triangle coming out. All right. So make your line there and there. Mine is really going to be wobbly. And then make, just connect up that line because it's, we need it to be a triangle, right? Right, Karen, we do. All right. You guys with me so far? You got your triangle? Give me a yes. Come on, let's hear it. Is everyone, no one's like being a perfection. No one's, no one should be measuring. There's no measuring. Who's measuring? Put down your rulers. Okay, Bree's done with you. Awesome, Diane. Thank you. Okay, so we got, a, we got, we got this. All right, so now we need to draw the stem. Now I'm thinking, do I have the stem going straight up or do I make it like kooky crooked? And so if I need assistance on making a decision, I'm going to refer to my many cocktail references that's what references are great for they help your decision making so these all look pretty straight so that answers my question and my helps my decision i'm gonna have my instead of having it like crooked i'm gonna have it keep like the whole thing's kind of like in this direction again i'm not measuring i can actually see that i'm not doing it perfect right now but i'm just gonna add a bottom anyways of some questionable unknown length till it goes towards the bottom of my paper. <laughs> Sandy says it looks like hers has already been drinking. And if you don't drink, just imagine you're having a lovely Shirley Temple with us. I'm not trying to like make anyone drink at 11 o'clock in the morning my time. <laughs> There's lots of lovely drinks you can make that have no alcohol in them. All right, so now we need to make our base. And the base is made up of two straight lines and either a curved line or a straight line at the bottom. So basically we're making another triangle. And I don't know how big this can be, but it's like a squish triangle. So this is what I'm going for. See how it's like squished? So these angles aren't gonna be crazy. They're not gonna be like, they're gonna be kind of wide. I'm gonna have like a wide base. And again, I'm not measuring, I don't know what this is. All right, so we have just one going off that side. And I have another random line going off that side. And I, I don't know. They don't look equal. That's fine. All right, we good? Now the base, you can either just connect them, but I kind of like the roundy base. But remember the rule. This is our catch with our drawing fun today. We have to make our lines from tracing something. Damn it. So mine doesn't have the size that I need. I need like a wider. Oh. Da -da, I'm so smart. I just flip it over. Now it's kind of wider. See how that just got me like a bigger radius. And usually I will come, I'll stack and I'll have a stack of bowls next to me too. So I have this one that's like good enough. So I'm going to just use this. The hardest part for me is not moving the object that I'm trying to trace against. I'll be like, wow. And then, and then I'm screwed. So I have this, I mean, it's not, it's like a stupid shape that I just made, but whatever. The goal is having fun and I'm having fun. All right. Yeah, you, oh, you didn't, good job not measuring the base, Linda. Yes, love it, love it. <laughs> it's okay if you're crooked on the stem. All right, so now is the art of making this look cool. So right now it's kind of simple and plain, right? So what makes something go from simple and plain to kind of like ooh, artsy fartsy and mod is varying your line weights and having varied line weights and different thicknesses. Okay, so this is super easy to achieve, but it's also super important from taking your drawing from just being basic to snazzy. So who wants a basic drawing and who wants a snazzy drawing? I'm going for full snazz. You know what I mean? So what we're going to do is we are going to simply thicken up some of these lines, but we're not going to make them uniformly thick. Meaning I'm not just going to take this side and like make a parallel line. So this is just fat. 
I'm actually going to make them askew. So I'm going to make, I'm going to connect my triangle at the bottom and then I'm going to make it go wider at the top. So I'll show you. So I'm going to start and hold your straight edge firmly. This is my big, this is my fail every time. I'll be like, wow. So don't do that. Um, so I'm trying to hold this very firmly. So I'm all the way at the crotch of my martini glass here. And then I'm going to make it a little bit wider as I go to the top. Okay, ready? Okay. Now see how that widens? That's what I mean about not having a uniform thick. You want it to be much fatter at one end, okay? And then this is where it, ha it pays to have a, a fine liner set because then to fill this in, it goes much faster if you can switch to a fat nib. And we're just gonna quick color that in. I could do it at the end, but I'm just gonna do it as we go. Now, in addition to holding tight your straight edge, we also want to make sure that we're not smearing our ink when we use our straight edge and our templates as well. This is where I need my glasses on, but I don't have them. Okay, so, all right, you see how that looks? Even having one line like that is cooler <laughs> than just the way that it was before. All right, does that make sense? All right, you guys got your snazz on? Let's do it. Let's get more snazzy. All right, so let's do another one. Let's do this side. Now, again, I don't want these to be matchy-matchy. So I'm going to do this one, but I'm going to make it like not quite as big as that. Because the more variations you have, the cooler, the more snazz you have, okay? So this one, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Like nothing crazy. Boop. Ooh, and that one was even more uniform. That would actually look cool even if you didn't color it in, but I'm gonna. Now I suck at details. So this is actually where I struggle. I'm like, oh God, and my hand gets like shaky. Oh, um, my students know, like I don't do details. I just, I don't enjoy having to focus so hard or have so much control is like super annoying to me. So just letting you know, it's not all, you know, Oh, rainbows and unicorns, you guys. It's hard to be careful <laughs> for me. <laughs> All right, now let's do the same thing on the stem, okay? Because again, it's just a straight line. That's kind of, that's like a little boring. So I'm just gonna like, you know, ooch my triangle out just a little bit to one side. And I'm just gonna fatten it up just a little bit. Just a little bit goes a long way to giving this some character. Boop, boop, boop. And again, I struggle with any sort of tea. Probably doesn't help that I like can't see anything either. <laughs> Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you, teacher. I appreciate it. Words of affirmation are my love language. So when people are like, good job, I'm like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> That's probably why I like, I'm always praising everyone too. It's because it like fills my cup. I'm hoping that it also fills yours. And I really do mean it. Okay. So we have those. All right. Well, let me, what do you think of this like varied line weights thing? Is, is this jiving? Do you like see what an impact that makes? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Are you like, oh yeah. Or you're like, what the hell are we doing? Let me know how you, what your thoughts are on this. Stupid delay. All right. In the meantime, I am eyeballing my next line. It's jiving over here. I love it. Good. I love that so much. All right. So now we're going to do the, the tiniest change ads. I know, right? It's not so interesting. Um, all right. So now we're going to do the same thing from the base. I'm going to just, I'm going to go inside this one. This one's super, I don't like how long dumb this line is. So I'm going to make that one, the one with the bigger out bump. And by the way, I, I got this idea about using nothing like the straight edge challenge. Maybe we should just make this a weekly thing because I did. It goes against my OCD. You can do it. Fight against it. Um, I did this once when I was on vacation with my family and I did a whole face with just a ruler. <laughs> it was so cool. It was so wonky and cool. And I was like, oh, well, this, that, and that was like years ago. And I hadn't done it since, but this like lends itself perfectly. All right, so I'm just gonna fatten up that other line there. All 
yeah and know and we go i kind of like how i did it i'm also gonna oh no this is cheating a little bit no i'm not gonna cheat i'm taking this seriously you can use the same straight edge or straight curve to go back and do the same thing with your base whatever bowl or cup or circle template that you used to thicken up that inside as well. Oh, I'm so glad I does it. That looks super cool. All right. And now <laughs> there is one more little thing that we can add to this that also gives it like movement and energy that's in addition to these lines. And they're kind of like action lines. Um, and I'm going to use a smaller, like a 0.4. There's so many fine liners. You'd think that one of them would be right. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. I've had a large martini. I'm ignoring my OCD. Yeah, girl. Hilarious. Okay. So now we're going to put what I call action lines in. You'll see a lot of these in like cartoons anime they have these but you can also just put them on your regular drawings even if you're not an anime illustrator and also be careful that you don't have ink on your straight edge sometimes I'll just run my fingers to get any wet ink off so you don't like put it down and then smear because I've done that a million times okay so we're gonna put these action lines through our cocktail glasses to give it a little energy for a lack of a better word. All right, so my other one. So I'm almost doing it like in parallel with the one that I had before. And again, it just like elevates your drawing. Like it just made it like extra cool all of a sudden. So I'm, if you notice, I went out, I ran, I aimed for the crotch. I don't know why I want to say crotch, the crotch of my glass and then shoot out on both ends. So it extends beyond the object that you're drawing. And we're going to do three. So we have this one. And they're like a little bit off. So this one also is going to extend through my glasses crotch and then out into the base, actually. So you're purposefully going out of the lines, but they're again, they're like razor straight. So they're like sharp and crisp. So there's two, there's one down the middle, one on the horizontal, and then we can pop one on the bottom too. Okay, so we have going going kind of through the bottom. All right, now let's fill up our martini glass. Let's put some liquid in there. Oh, I froze up. I don't know. I know the hardest part is like when there's like Wi-Fi issue. I'm like, is it you? Is it me? I have no idea. I'm just gonna forge ahead. Okay, so now we need like our liquid line, but we also need to put something in here. We could put, oh, let's do like some, let's do like a fruit on the side. So I'm just going to keep with my 0.4 fine liner and I'm going to do like a garnish, you know, like a piece of like a lemon or something here. So I don't even know. I'm not measuring. Yep. You could do olives. I'm going to make this like a fruit slice. I'm doing a little bit differently because drawing my drawing club peeps will have this. Ooh, so now I need to find a circle that makes sense with my piece of fruit that I'm drawing. So I'm just like placing different objects. Oh, I have this a really big orange slice, apparently. <laughs> and this is the one that fits the line that I just randomly drew. So that's the one I'm going to use. Remember this. Oops. I just marked my paper happens. All right. And so there is my slice that is coming to life. You can see the little mark I accidentally drew. Oh, good. I know the line weights are amazing, aren't they? All right. And we can keep this super basic, but we can also make it like bigger if you want. So this is the one I drew on this. I oh, forget. I have two cameras. Um, so this is, again, I, I stuck to my rule or I had to be the straight edge only. Same thing with my ice chunks. Every line has to be made with your straight edge. And if you want to get fancy, keep 
switching your line weights. So if you're doing smaller objects, like a piece of fruit, use a thinner fine liner nib. If you're doing larger objects like the outer glass or the cocktail shaker, you're, you're gonna use a larger fine liner instead. So I'm just gonna chop right through there. Where is my thingamajiggy? And then this is just, you're like, I, I, this is the challenge. You have to just use what you have. So I'm just gonna, does, doesn't fit perfectly, but I'm gonna make my little orange segments. And this one I'll just do, how did I do it on this one? Oh, the diagonal. I'm just gonna do, just divide it into a couple segments using, I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing it and just adding some kind of segments here. So now I have my little garnish. All right, we have that. And maybe a lot of drinks that I like to drink, this would have like a cherry at the bottom. So I'm gonna make a cherry at the bottom just using my circle template. I'm just gonna drop it right in the center like that. And maybe there's some little fun cherries with size with that. Maybe there's like some fun little cherries off here on the side, like one, two. Oh yeah, and cherries have the little stems, right? Ooh, now I want it to be a curved stem, but I have to, I can't draw a line freehand. I have to be tracing something. That was the, that's the challenge. So I'll use my circle template to, how about we do this? Wing, look at that. Oh. Oh, I did it. And then maybe this one does too. It, it forces you to be so creative because you're like, oh shoot, I can't just draw whatever. I have to use my circle template. Uh, maybe this one is like this. I'm just making this up. I have no idea. And then you're like, mm, oh, I want to zoom in so bad. I can't. Ah. And then maybe there's like a little, you know how cherries have like the little divot around where their stems come off? All right. Well, I have a little baby circle template too. So I can just draw like a little half circle around here. And I don't know if this is gonna look good or not, but I'm just doing stuff. And maybe we have it like there and like there. And that one will just be in the bottom of my glass. All right. Oh, and the last thing we can do is the level of our liquid. So somewhere, make a liquid line and it can be up at the top, it can be you know, maybe it's already half drank and it's down here at the bottom or maybe it's somewhere. I do hate it when I order like a $15 cocktail and it's like only to here. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So I'll do mine at the top because I like my martinis to be full, thanks. And then we go up there. Okay. Oh, you think the cherries are cute? Yay. <laughs> oh my God. I love that. I call it girl measuring. Hilarious. <clears throat> oh yeah I do make a mean martini I know I do love me some cocktails <laughs> glass half full get yeah, right all right so now let's color these in I'm gonna just grab my marker I have markers on either side of me so I'm just gonna like <laughs> lean over and grab one and now we have to add some color to this um let's see and I usually suggest always color swatching somewhere I should have like a scrap piece of paper, but I don't. Ooh. And see, I like, I didn't color swatch my green on this. And I was like, that's a terrible green that I chose. So always do yourself a favor and color swatch. That's like a little maroon. And I think the other reason that I love drawing cocktails so much is that they call they come in like the color of the rainbow. So you can pick literally any color and it is probably a cocktail somewhere. <laughs> so I think that is so fun too. It could be pink, it could be purple, it could be orange. Like, it's all so, so fun. Oh, you know what would be fun would be like, would be like a yellow. I hate yellow, but I would be, have a yellow cocktail for sure. Let's see, just swatch this out. Oh, like a bright yellow cocktail. Oh my God, that would be fun. And maybe like an orange, orange slice. I'm doing it. All right, so 
pick your favorite. Oh, and by the way, post your photos in the Facebook group when you're done so I can see. All right, so markers, they're my favorite, as you probably know, because they're like instant impact. But you can use whatever you want to color in your martinis. So you can use color pencils, pan pastels, watercolor paper. Just make sure you were doing your drawing on watercolor paper. Also, you could use Mr. Sketch Markers if that's what you have. That would actually be yummy and it would smell so, so good. <laughs> Look at my bright, bright yellow. I feel like I need a really yellow, punchy red, though, for my cherry. Oh, yes. Here's one. Ooh. What a bright, sassy way to start your day. So fun. And then I have, I have this already out, so I'll just do this. Oh, and you know what else? I'll, I'll do one more thing after we do our coloring. I'm reading your comments. They're super cute. It's okay if it's a mocktail. There's nothing to be ashamed about. I love a mocktail all day long. And I certainly don't want to be inappropriate or make anyone feel badly. That is for sure. Um, uh, let's see. I want to make that an orange slice. Although it would be fun to have that be like a, a lime. Oh, that's such a fun orange. I got to go for that. Um, I could do like two tones of oranges. I could do a darker. The rind could be darker. Oh, you know what I just realized? I didn't, I shouldn't have had the, that line. See how there's like my peel and then I accidentally did an extra line there. That shouldn't be there, but whatever. It is. So... Say la vie. Um, yeah. You guys, I make mistakes on every single project that I do. Every, every single one. It's all good. Although it does throw off my orange drawing. Whee! Because this shouldn't be a different color. All right, so I got my orange. The whole color scheme makes me happy. I might actually just leave that white because it shouldn't even be a color. I know, right? Day drinking on a Monday, even too. Yeah, I mean, nature isn't perfect. Although nature doesn't actually have a line there, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm over it. And then, all right. Oh, I'm so happy already with this. All right, and then we can take like a light blue. Oh, that's... That's, oh, here's my little scratch sheet off the side. That's probably not quite light enough. Like a real baby blue. It's just, ooh. Oh, that's kind of pretty, kind of like adds it. And so what I'll do for the base isn't color it all in, but sometimes I'll just do like a swipe, like a, like a swipe in the direction because it gives it, it gives it a little color infusion without being like, the glass is blue. You know what I mean? And then you can kind of do it up here as well. If you want to, one side or both sides. Just have like, just like a little tint, little hint, if you will, of the blue. <clears throat> Cases put glitter on the extra line. I don't think I, I think the only glitter I have is like a hot pink. <laughs> And then for, I'm mean, loving, don't, oh, I just love these freaking drawings. They're so fun. Another thing that's really fun to do too, which I did do in the lesson, which I forgot is like, once I have the black and the, just the line work done, like go take a scan. Cause then you can actually use it as a coloring page or like make a bunch. I was going to say, give it to your grandkids, but that would be awkward because they're cocktails, but you could, um, <laughs> does the cocktail, and the, it does the cherry, it, need a stem usually if i have a cocktail and there's a cherry in the bottom the stem is not in there i don't have stickies nope i don't um oh but the other thing i was going to do is this is super fun too 
is to add some little like mid-century modern little motifs in the background too. Or like here or we have like a sparkle. You guys have seen me do this in my like eyes on my girls on occasion. I make these big like eye sparkles. You can do the same thing kind of on your glassware that denotes like, oh, there's a sparkle there. Now it's a little crowded if we did one here. I think that's too much against this one. But I think having a little, let's see, there's like smudges all over. I'm like a disaster. But we could, you could use, look at your references and like get some more ideas. So that's where the, that wasn't my idea. I do do that same thing in in girls' eyeballs all the time. But then I saw it, I'm like, oh, that's so funny. I do those on my girl's eyes. You could put it on your martini glass as well. But these little squiggle squaggles, right? You could put any of these kind of like around in the background for a little added, a little added extra fun since like it's a little, it's a little plain. <laughs> Another thing you could do is also just um, like these, you could just make like fun patches of different colors around your little coloring page as well. I hope you had so much fun today. If you want to post your pictures so I can see them, come and join my Facebook group. And for more information on the Fun Fab Drawing Club, check the description box below. See you in the next video.